everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm doing a tag video with you guys and I was tagged by my friend Swoozy and it is called the I fell for the package tag. So if you guys would like to stick around see what it's all about and maybe what I fell for, keep on watching. Okay, so I was tagged by Swoozy to do this I fell for the package tag. And basically, I guess she was, one of her sub subscribers had said to her that they were kind of interested to see what products maybe she fell in love with the packaging or, you know, what was it about the product? Was it the packaging you bought at first or just something in that, in that reference and then she thought she'd turn it into a tag so she tagged several of us so thank you Swoozy and if you are not subscribed to Swoozy I will put a link down below to her video please go check her out you will not be disappointed so I think for a while because I don't know if I actually at first thought I technically had any ones that I you know fell for the package and then I thought oh my goodness yes I started thinking about these uh, different products which I'll share here. I have to be honest, my most guilty pleasure in falling for a package is perfume. The perfume bottle itself. Now I've maintained on it because I've had a couple times where I had a bad experience and got rid of the bottle perfume, gave it to somebody else or whatever, you know. So I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys which ones those are. And you probably have seen a couple of them I've shared before, but there is a couple here that you've never seen. So we'll go ahead and get into that. I forget, I think these are the Haruki Lovers. This is the Gwen, I think it's Gwen Stefani uh, perfume line that she has out. I believe it's, isn't it Gwen Stefani? I think it is. And I fell in love with the packaging. I mean, who? look how cute that is, you know, with the girl on top, you know, and there's like just very little perfume in there. And it's just, just so cute. I mean, it looks really cute sitting on your, your dresser or your vanity or something like that. It's just super cute. And she has several different designs, which I have thought about getting a couple other ones. Cause there is one that has like the blonde hair that's supposed to be similar, like supposed to be like it's her, you know? And honestly, like there's the perfume itself. It's there's, there's still some in there, but the perfume, it's okay. It's not bad. This one's baby. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not what I gravitate a lot to, but I did get it more for the packaging. I didn't even know what this was going to smell like. I, I went by what the notes had listed, which it probably had some kind of white musk in it or something. If, if, if I at least see that, I know I probably might like it, but there has been some fails on that for me. So yeah. Totally fell for the packaging on this here, my Mariah Carey Luscious Pink. The main thing, now I have two different ones here. This one here is a little more different. It's more of a collector's bottle, so there's nothing left in it. I used the whole thing, and this is my new one I have now in this one. So, <laughs> I mean, I fell for the packaging in the first place because I loved the design of the bottle. I thought, oh my God, that looks so elegant and I do love butterflies and Mariah Carey you know she's known for her love of butterflies too so I fell in love with the packaging this is the first one I got but wouldn't you know this ended up being my favorite perfume seriously luscious pink from Mariah Carey ha happens to be one of my favorite perfumes that I love to wear and it's one of the ones that I get the most compliments when I'm wearing it, so people will be like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I mean, I get stopped in the store sometimes because people will be wondering what I'm wearing. So I'll be like, luscious pink Mariah Carey, you know. And this is the other one. It's a little bit more smaller. I never even realized that. I'm not sure where I got this one at, if I got it in Walmart or if I ordered this one like HSN or something. I'm not sure. This one's a little bit more smaller one and, you know, bottle's a little more uh, the iridescent kind of thing and the butterflies a little more see-through but yep fell for the packaging the next one I did get to smell it when I was in the department store but what really caught me in the beginning at first was the packaging and it's my Versace uh, bright crystal perfume and yeah the packaging caught me first on this one here I thought oh my goodness like look at this thing up on top here it's like this 
like big fat diamond, you know, it looks like a big fat diamond. And then it has the all famous Versace design on there. And I don't know, I just, you know, fell in love with the way this bottle looked in the packaging and I bought it, but I did know what the scent smelled like and it oh, does smell good. I'm going to put some of this on. Yeah, this is, this is a really nice perfume. So, although I got some in my mouth, don't spray in your mouth. Okay, this one, I had no clue what it was going to smell like. I mean, good thing that most of these I do not mind or will use and have some favorites here now of mine. But this one, I had no clue if I was going to like it, but I bought it for the packaging. And that is Love and Luck from Ed Hardy. And I have this thing where I love to collect things that have the geisha on it. I always say my art's kind of funny, crazy, because my art, I like, I love the Victorian era. And I love, I love a lot of things that I can get from the Victorian era style and everything. But I also love, have a, a love for the Japanese art and I love anything that has geisha on it. And when I seen this bottle, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. You know, like it wasn't, it wasn't because I thought of the scent, like, oh, you know, because of the scent or anything. No, it's because there was a geisha on it and I had to get this, I had to get this bottle. So, and I still have a good bit of the perfume. I don't think they make this anymore, but I ended up really liking the scent on top of it all. But, yep, totally fell for the packaging. Last one in the perfume, <laughs> told you I love perfume, is the uh, Bur uh, Burberry body. And it was all because, I mean, it looks like a big crystal, like just this big, elegant crystal. I had no idea what this was going to smell like. And I did look at the notes and kind of thought, you know, it did sound some, like something I would like. And I did like, I think it's Bur Burberry Brit or one of those ones, like a little small sample uh, in one of those little bottles. I did have one of those and, and used it. So I did like that one. So I thought maybe I would like this, you know, because I did like the Burberry. But thank goodness I ended up liking the fragrance as well. And this is a really, really, this is a really sophisticated fragrance, I think. This one's like one of my more sophisticated one out of the bunch that I have, I feel. The other ones have a little more softer scent to them, and this one has a little, just a little more sophisticated, but yep, fell in love with all of them because of, yeah, the designs and everything. So I have mainly like blushes and palettes here, so I'm gonna try and get into this because I don't want it to be forever. The balm, these two here, I fell for the packaging, definitely, because I thought they're so cute, so unique, so different compared to any other companies out there. Uh, this is the Hot Mama blush that they're pretty well famous for, and this one is the Cabana Boy, and you know, I mean, the colors are gorgeous too, but I basically got them because I thought, oh my god, the packaging is super cute, and it, well, here's one here, Def Archie's Girls from Mac. Yeah, like, well, I'm an Archie fan. And I mean, I loved Archie, but I had to have this packaging. I had to have Archie and Veronica and Betty. <laughs> so I had to get it for that. Whether I was going to like this, this is the, I think, Flatter Me Pearl. It was the, it's supposed to be like a blush and highlight and one or something. I don't know. But, you know, yeah, totally fell for the packaging. I had like one, I think lip gloss or something like that. And, but I was glad to at least get this because it had all three of them on it. Yeah, totally had to get that for the packaging and kind of the collector in me for, because it was the Archie's. Urban Decay. When I seen this here, I, you know what? I have no idea the name of this palette. Maybe some of you guys might know, but I thought it was so cute because it had like this kitty with a butterfly and this one it looked like a chihuahua dog, um, a beautiful hummingbird, which I love hummingbirds and a dolphin up on top here and you open it up and same thing. There's like butterflies and all kinds of stuff. And I thought, oh my goodness, I barely even use this, barely even use it. 
but it was the packaging that I fell in love with for this. So that's basically the whole reason that I got this palette was the packaging. Cores. I never tried any Cores makeup or anything. So when HSN was having a sale, they were having, you know, some of the Cores items on sale. This was a couple years back now. And you could get both of these. One is supposed to be a blush and one is like a bronzer highlight or something like that. They call it Magic Light Face Contouring is what they're calling uh, Powder Trio. This is my Konos. I think this one is, yeah, the one that has more color to it. It has like pink and uh, mauve and then there's like a bronzy shade down there, which the design even on there, you can see it's like lettering, like a letter was stamped or postcard. And then this one here has more of the bronze tones to it and more of a highlight on the top. I think this one was called Santorino, Santorino, yeah. But the packaging is what I fell for on these because I thought, oh my god, those are so cute. You got both of them together, but yeah, it looks like a little postcard, like you're sending it from the beach, you know, and I just thought it was so cute. So I love Kat Von D. I still have it in the box. Tells you how picky I am with some of my palettes here. But totally fell for the packaging on this one. I mean, I, I do love her eyeshadows. And different times when I seen this palette, I thought, ooh, I should get it. I wasn't sure. It's like back and forth with it a little bit. But yeah, totally fell for the packaging because the butterfly, I didn't get the purple one. I wanted the purple one so bad. The colors weren't fully calling me and which was surprising because I do love purple. And I think why it wasn't was some of the purples I already had, I felt. But I really wish I would have gotten it now because I, I would just have it, maybe use it too as well, but to have it with the collection of this because I would have the purple butterfly. I think it's the Monarch palette, I think, because it's the Monarch butterfly is supposed to represent it, the colors. But yeah, totally fell for the packaging. I mean, I love her eyeshadows, but the main thing, anything like as soon as I see butterfly on some stuff, I end up getting it just because butterfly. And which I have a funny feeling the new Lorac collection, the California Dreamin', because it has butterflies and stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to be another one. And lastly, Too Faced. Too Faced makes some of the craziest but unique and just I, I love their packaging I really do and I also enjoy Too Faced a lot so some of these were you know of course the eyeshadows look nice but the packaging really caught me the artwork or something it, like here's one the everything nice palette from Too Faced I thought oh my goodness you know like it looks like one of them like an old necklace and the beads and the oval shaped jewel and you know i mean like like i said of course the eyeshadows in it i fell for and then you get the blush and bronzer and the highlights and stuff but definitely definitely it was the packaging most of all the all famous i no i don't have i need to get a couple of the other ones like i wouldn't mind getting the semi-sweet but the chocolate and peach palette when i first especially the chocolate palette when i first seen this I thought oh my god it looks so cute like a big chocolate bar you know the smell alone of chocolates I mean who doesn't well maybe there's some people that don't like that so I shouldn't say who don't love that but some might not love that but yep it looks like a chocolate bar and then along with it you know you see the little peach and the peaches and just you know I mean yes the packaging just in both totally fell for Totally, totally fell for. Lastly, these Too Faced, the blushes they have out, these, the Sweethearts blushes, you know, I mean, I, I love the, I love the blushes, but I fell for the packaging because I thought, oh my goodness, is that not cute? Little heart shape, you know, little hearts for your blush. I mean, just super cute. This one's Candy Glow. This one's one of my favorite ones. This is Peach Beach. You know, just fell for the packaging, but and now they have the highlighters. So I have a funny feeling I'll be picking up a highlighter or two in this cute heart shaped. You know, I, I do enjoy Too Faced and their 
packaging, but also their products. All right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to go and check out Swoozie. Like I said, I'll put a link down below to her channel, so go ahead and check her out. Also, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. And also put a smile on my face. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and come and join me each week. You get... You get... Oh my god, well, what in the world was that? <laughs> and if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. You can hit the subscribe button down below. And please do not forget to also hit the bell that's next to the subscribe button so you can join me and it will inform you of my new videos that come up every one of them days. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.